can we just talk about self-belief for a minute? I think one of the things that holds people back from taking a chance, betting on themselves, getting out there and putting this idea into fruition is they just don't believe in themselves. Yeah. You know, what, what, what can you give just in terms of a gym? What, what advice can you give to somebody who right now has been straddling the fence, but they, you know, if they strip it all away, no matter what excuse they're giving themselves, it really comes down to, I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think the idea is good enough. I don't think, you know, I've never started a business before. Why me? What, what can you tell those people? Um, I would definitely say um, identify what you are good enough to do. So I think we all believe in ourselves just to a certain degree. So let's say, for instance, you have not done any exercise in the last five years, 10 years. You would still be, if you know, you're, you're you know, a moderate build person you would be super confident in the fact that you can get down on the floor and do three push-ups, right? I mean, unless you're like, you know, like super obese or whatever, but you're, even if you never, you haven't worked out in years, you're confident. You have self-belief that you can get down and do three push-ups. So we got to identify what we're good enough to do. Go do the three. And then you'll probably max out it. Like, you know, start slowing down eight, nine. Woo, I'm tired. But if the next day you say, yo, I'm going to do some push-ups, you know you can do at least eight. So you get down and do eight, and then you tire out. The next day you do eight. Eventually, you'd be super confident in the fact that you can do 10. You've been, you've been close. So incremental steps. But self-belief is developed by accomplishment. So whatever you feel like you can accomplish, go accomplish it. But we compare ourselves to these... Um, social media marketers or, you know, all the stuff that we see and we got to make a hundred thousand dollars in a month. No, go make a hundred dollars this month. Didn't feel confident enough to make a hundred next month. That's okay. Do you realize $500 a month, which is an extra hundred dollars a week will save most people from foreclosure. That's right. I teach my people, go make a hundred dollars a week. Let's see if you can have a product that four people will buy every week that you can sell for 25 bucks. Let's write a book, a, a journal, or whatever. Do you realize you can you can buy you can you can write a book? It's super easy. You write the book, get somebody to edit it. Um, you get interior designer, exterior designer, and upload to Create Space or whatever. You could have a book for twenty bucks. When people buy the book, they don't read the book to see if it's good or not. Do you realize that? I'm listening. Go ahead. You know I, 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 I want to see where you're going with this. So, like, think about it. If I came up to you and, like, say, yo, here's my book. I tell you about it, but you don't open it and say, okay, let me read a chapter real quick. You're buying it based on you liking me. Correct. Or you believe that this message could help you based on what I tell you. So becoming an author and becoming someone who can sell a book, all you have to do is develop um, your ability to connect with people or you study some sales books or whatever. It has nothing to do with the product. You, f you know, I can sell a journal. People sell journals, which is a, a book with no blank pages. There's no information in it. You got to put the information in. So what I'm saying is in our, in our head, we think we got to be this super successful person, but be confident enough to come up with 10 topics you want to write about be confident enough to write on those 10 topics, produce the book, and see if you can get five people to like you throughout the week to sell a $20 book to make $100 a week and make $400 a month. Can we talk we about your belief? Say that again? 100%. 100%. Yeah, I, I just wanted to drive it home, man. Like, we just have to identify what we believe we can do because we believe we can do something. And sometimes it's just about that, um, that environment you're in. Last story, I promise. No, no, so, no. Keep uh, telling your stories because they, they, they're this, very informational. They're this very kid. informational. I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> this, yeah, I was in I was in the fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade. And I was actually one of my friends. We, like we had an issue during school. And then after school, I see him. And I'm like, yo, 
but we still got a problem. And he's like, he's the biggest kid in the class. So I push him. And he's like, yo, David, leave me alone. And I'm like, nah, what's up? You was talking crazy earlier. <laughs> so I push him again. He's like, yo, David, stop, man. Like, yo, I'm, we're not trying to do this. I ain't trying to get in trouble. You ain't trying to get in trouble. So I push him again. The next thing I knew, I was on the ground. My man just hit me. I, I blanked out. I wake up and he's like grabbing me. And then they're, they're, they're breaking us up. So I'm shook. I'm nervous. I didn't think we were actually going to fight. I just wanted to look tough, right? <laughs> So I'm nervous. I'm like, dang. And, and I started thinking like, okay, tomorrow he's going to want to fight again. And I don't want to fight again. <laughs> so watch this. The middle school, my brother was in the middle school and he's coming from the middle school to high school. And I see him in the distance. And I, see, I saw my brother and his friends. And for some reason, I got this surge of energy and this surge of confidence because I saw my brother coming. I saw my brother like, yo, I just got in this fight. I ain't talking my laws. But I was like, yo, I got in this fight, man. I got, I got a problem. I'm about to go handle it. He was like, oh, let's do it. I said, nah, you don't even got to jump in. I got it. I got it. So here's the thing. I didn't even want my brother to fight for me. But I had more confidence because my brother was there. Moral of the story, you got to be in an environment where people aren't afraid of the things you're afraid of. And you'll have more confidence to go about it. So we're all in these environments where everybody's scared. Come, coming up in Jersey, ain't nobody doing nothing super big outside of being a rapper or selling weed. But when I got in an environment of authors, they're like, yo, all you do is write the little book. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, is that it? Let's go. You follow me? Just being in that environment. Yeah, I want to touch on two points. One, I want to go back to your book, but I want to stick here with this point for one second. Mm -hmm. People don't understand, and I want to stick here for a second. When you are around people who are doing it, people who are getting it, people who are bringing a certain level of energy every day consistently to the table, it's transferable. 100%. You start to feel like you could play at that level. 100%. You start to feel like it ain't nothing I can't do. Just by virtue of being around people who come in with a mindset day in and day out, then I'm getting it. And it's so important for all of us, you know, and that I'm, I'm here in New York, worked in Manhattan for many years, but there's something about the energy. If anybody, you've been to New York many times. When you get to Manhattan, the lights, the electricity, mm -hmm. the, 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 the cars back and forth, people on the street, you know, moving. Just, just moving, you don't know where they're going. They're moving, they're bumping you. Everybody, it's just a certain level of energy. And I could not agree with you more. When you're around energy, in your case, you saw your brother. You knew my brother's there. My, I, I know I got somebody. But it gave you energy to do something like, oh, yes. I can win this. Yeah. And it's the same in business. The same in business. I, I would tell anybody, Get around, and, and here's the deal. People don't have to be successful yet. They can just have that ambition. They yeah. can just be going day in the day, day about their business. Get around those people, and you will be surprised how they, that energy helps you to elevate your game. It's, it's, yeah. it's crazy because energy is just so transferable. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.